Texas A&M Forest Service is one of only five state forestry agencies in the nation that's part of a land-grant university. And being part of Texas A&M, we are the service arm of the A&M University or land-grant system. And because of that, we have a duty to protect the citizens and the resources of the state, but we also do that through service. The only way that we can accomplish our mission uh, is through the power of partnerships. We believe in, in partnerships and coalitions and building the capacity of others, whether it's a landowner, a citizen, a community, uh, or a fire department. With a state as big as ours and as diverse as ours, we, we had to figure out a way, uh, how, do we, how do we accomplish uh, protecting the, the people and the resources of this state? We do it through a tiered approach, which is called the Texas Wildfire Protection Plan. And there's really five stages of that. And the, the first one is predictive services. And very closely associated with that is planning and preparedness. And then we have mitigation and prevention. And probably the backbone of, of our tiered approach is capacity building. The last one is incident response. Predictive Services. We are the first predictive services group in the nation. Uh, we started back in 98. Our main task is to monitor uh, and forecast the fire environment across the state. Forecasting and monitoring the fire environment helps our firefighters maintain situational awareness of fire potential and helps them understand what type of fire they may deal with on any given day. Over 90% of wildfires in Texas are human caused. Our main goal is to prevent fire occurrence and loss. The majority of wildfires in Texas are near communities, and so we work with those communities closely on mitigation and prevention programs. We do a lot of public outreach. We talk to schools, children, and adults, uh, all about ways that they can prevent wildfires from just their own homes on their own property. Uh, simple things like debris burning, keeping your gutters clean, and just keeping your property clean from vegetation with short vegetation. Through the Texas Wildfire Risk Assessment Portal, or TexRAP, we can identify what areas have high risk to moderate risk and even low risk, and we work with them to, first of all, just even let them know what their risks are and what specific mitigation efforts they can do to reduce their risk. Not all fire is bad fire. Prescribed fire is a planned scientific approach to reduce or mitigate the effects of wildfire. Texas is a big place, and uh, we have 167 million acres. We have uh, 28 million Texans, and there's only 500 TFS employees. So the only way that we can accomplish our mission uh, is to work with others and build their capacity. In Texas, there are over 1,800 fire departments. Over 1,500 of them are volunteer fire departments. And without question, they are the front line of defense. They are the ones that are going to arrive first. And we want them to be successful in protecting their communities, protecting their residences, and essentially lives. Our programs are designed to bolster the response capacity of fire departments in Texas. Uh, we offer a, the most aggressive suite of programs in the country. We have anywhere from grants for fire apparatus, equipment, training, training aids. By law, through the authority of the Texas Department of Emergency Management, TDEM, the TFS is, uh, is one of the, the state agencies that are a lead in, in incident response. And that requires not only uh, responding to now, we are also part of recovery. So we go from incident response, incident management, and also recovery. Our agency is the uh, uh, lead agency for the state of Texas uh, in response to wildland fires. So it's, uh, it's our job to support our local fire departments and respond across the state to those incidents. We utilize uh, our capacity building programs to uh, increase our capabilities of our local fire departments, about 1,800 of those across the state. And we utilize a program called TIFMIS, Texas Interstate Fire Mutual Aid System. And that allows us to move resources from uh, non-impacted areas into other impacted areas to support and supplement uh, state resources. The only way that we can accomplish our mission is through the power of partnerships. We've got to build capacity and work and build coalitions and relationships every day. The bottom line of all this is a point that I've, I've made a number of times to elected officials is the fact that if all hell breaks loose, I want to be in Texas because we work together and we know how to handle it.